Hello there, this is episode four for Timotheus Dextrous for our Rogue Trader campaign. Well, last time we tried and we died against um, against our uh, against uh, this Chaos Spawn. He's got 140 hit points. Uh, I think when I played it last time, I think the key was to try to take out as many of the Joes down here as possible. So I can't take him out. I uh, can't really get to him. I think if I can... Let's see, where... Okay, that's the one. I could try shooting... Getting to him. Step by step, I lead. Here we go. Exactly what I needed. Okay, that's one down. Um, I think he's done. So the next target's gotta be again keeping our distance or trying to keep our distance. Might be able to use lightning on these Joes. If I get the spawn, it can chain to those Joes. I might as well give it a try. Okay, probably should have moved before having her do that, but you know what? Um, let's see here. No. Okay, we can maybe give herself forewarning. Okay. Alright. If I were to use this... Hmm. The key thing is I want to try getting both of these guys have a good shot of doing it. Um, green momentum. What does momentum do? Doubt is for the weak. That's another one down. Not as many as I would have liked, but... Alright. You can at least move her back to cover. Yeah, have her move back to cover. Can't really target anybody. Eh, I didn't plan that out right. Shoot. Okay. He's kind of stuck. Should have tried to find a way to give him some sort of melee weapon so he could shoot. Um.
And it's gonna hurt. That's not so bad. Okay. So he's got. He's bleeding. That's not good. Okay. Another scar to my collection. Oh, he's bleeding too. Revel and slaughter. Dang. And this guy's way over here. Freaking pansy. All right, let's see what we can do. Hopefully I don't hit my own Joe. Okay. Schemes within the schemes. Really? Zero percent chance of hitting him. Zero percent chance of hitting him, and I hit him twice. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That should not have happened. I don't know why it did. Uh, this gives a bonus to dodge and parry. Probably want to move her though. Fight still not going well. Really? Ugh, and I can't run and gun. I'm trying to get to this Joe back here, freaking pansy. He'll be able to just hide away. Healing and combat. You can use a medikit. And this, by the way, is on easy mode. Like. If I move to here, I'm barely going to be able to hit him. Gotta try to take it. I don't even know if I'll have visibility from back there. And somehow I'm supposed to beat this thing. 97 HP. Can I fall back now? I 
try to shoot. Okay, so, watch this. 0% chance I'm gonna hit my guy. 0% chance, that means there is no way I can hit them, right? I'm gonna hit. she have any other weapons? No, she just has a normal... Might as well try it. Okay, so she's got a 0% chance to hit. In oh, she dodged. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe that uh, technically that's that's 0% chance. All right, Abelard's going to get going to bite it. Cuz he's on the ground. He can't do anything. Ooh. Uh, time to prove my metal. So ideally, let's see. All right, we lived. <laughs> Jeez, that not an easy fight. Not an easy fight at all. All right, let's uh, heal up, I guess. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. Do you have any medikits? Uh, how about? Okay, she's got a medikit. Okay. Woo! All right. Wait, are we all? Oh, we're all uh, healed up, kind of. Oh, your efforts are noted. This will try to get will make a fine scar. Oh, my appreciation. Trying to get him. Let's patch you up. Oh, take my transient gratitude. Whatever. Trying to get the old um, wound out of the way, but it's not going to happen. All right, rank five. Let's see. Choose characteristic. Oh, okay, I get bonuses to those. Uh, the agility is already 50, so doesn't do a huge amount, but yeah. Point blank. Okay. 
15 bonus to Zia, but he's not really a melee guy. 10% bonus to to um, dodge versus dodge. Uh, dodge is here. I mean, he has a 70% chance to dodge. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But I can also... Oh, I can't... Uh, I am level 4. All right, so let's aim to get a new type of weapon. I, I do like... Hmm. Okay. I like the idea of like plasma weapons or bolter weapons. Bolter weapons are pretty awesome. Although I don't think I'm going to get any bolter weapons anytime soon. And they're totally unrealistic to a normal human. Like they would totally shatter a dude's arm. But he's crazy enough to use it. So we're going to use it. All right. This is, oh, choosing a talent. Um, that's pretty good. Oh, we already have this feature, okay. Contempt. That's pretty good. It's also pretty good. There's like a ton of great abilities here. Um... No enemies adjacent to the warrior at the start of the turn. Oh, that's him charging in. Okay. Um, crowd kill. This is pretty good, too. Oh, and he already has a chain weapon. Combat master. Swift movements. Dueling Master. I feel like Dueling Mastery would be perfect for Abelard. And then um, Agility would be good. Weapon skill. Gotta be Weapon skill. I know it doesn't help him out right this second. Whereas actually Agility will help him out right this second. Yeah, agility will help him out right this second. There we go. Alright. Our Psyker. Uh, definitely willpower if I had the option. Yeah, hells yeah. Um... We have plus five. And the basic lures are also good too. luck yeah she's already got those um, and, uh, she doesn't have any force weapons does she
can use a damaging psychic power while being threatened by enemies in melee range without provoking a, a, a attack attacks of opportunity non-damaging psychic powers do not provoke Whenever psychic, uh, the Psyker uses a damaging Psyker powers on targets that are six. First time in combat that an ally becomes a target of a Psyker ability, this ally gets plus 10. Eh, there's a lot of detailed stuff here. I like the idea of having her move around quicker. Okay, and then our other soldier, build the characteristics. Ballistic skill, definitely ballistic skill. I feel like point blank is really good too. All the area uh, attacks gain. Um, Yeah, because she doesn't have a missile weapon. Or she doesn't have a melee weapon. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Patience! My nerves are frayed! Alright. Can we. Oh, goods. Alright, here we go. Blade Shard, Gloves of Endurance, and Mantle of Heroism. All right, anybody else have anything else that we could pick up? Uh, we usually get a little message beforehand, but okay. Try to find the helmsman. Oh, look who's back here. Hi, guys. By the Emperor, it's a Seneschal! Alive and breathing! Yay! You didn't die! Sickly pale skin. We need to reestablish contact. Okay. You may call me superstitious, but translation, not a good time to disregard rules. Okay, well, what do we gotta do? Take Lord Captain's seat. We're doing it. I don't care how they survived. Uh, we're going pretty casually for, uh, you know. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, no, because you know this is this is completely normal. Were you to oppose the very flows of fate? Your hopes and faith are my mockery.
The aspirant vowed to return with a trophy. Relic that could serve a, the edge of daybreak. Day, the final ritual. See you by my side in that day. Oh my god. Child of the Dawn. Dude, you're right there. You're right next to me. Honor his memory along with those who died that day. Will you tell us now who is that? Where's Lord Captain? As first officer, it is my duty to inform you with the greatest regret and indelible sorrow that Lord Captain Theodora von Falatius is dead. May her memory never fade from the annals of the dynasty. By right of blood succession and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision, it is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valancius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the Warrant of Trade, and the title of Rogue Trader. Yes! The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. <laughs> In the interim, uh, have you lost your tongues? Hail your lord. It is because of his toils that we all still live. You damn straight! The deed is done, Master. In my apologies, I meant to say Lord Captain. You damn straight, sir! The treachery of the Master of Whispers was fruitless, but victory came at a great cost. Beep boop. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir, Edelthrad, and thousands of crew members. Yet hope remained. For the second in line to the Rogue Trader Dynasty survived. To hang the ancestral banners once again and exact vengeance on the enemies of House Von Valencius and humanity. Yeah! Von Valencius. So I won the game, right? I'm the Rogue Trader. I completed the prologue. <laughs> Only took me three episodes. <laughs> So yeah, I won the game, right? I can get rich. Get rich. I have ideas. I have schemes. I have plans. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I was worried for a few hours there. After witnessing you fearlessly rush into the fray on the deck. The only thing that surprises me is how long you man you stayed on your feet. Your strength only left you once fighting. Sorry, your strength only left uh, only left you once. The fighting was all over. Such ad such fortitude is admirable in a lord. Admirable in a lord captain. Reading is hard. Uh, okay, just, uh, for many of those. Weeping. Uh, this is a silly thing, because we already know how we lost a lot of officers. What's the agenda of the meeting? What's the condition? Good. Captain's not usually drawn from her important affairs. Yeah, we gotta clean this crap up. Take this uh, opportunity to get a good look at the officers who... Work six decks away from the bridge. They, in turn, will have the honor of beholding the visage of their Lord Captain. You're goddamn straight. Sorry, you're goddamn Empress straight. Uh, have 
have you succeeded in tracking down Voitger? His trail went cold. Why? Like, he's on the boat somewhere. I would not be surprised to hear that we are now one shuttle short. Alright, fine. I'll ask the stupid question. How did we come to lose so many officers? Heretics were working or deliberately targeting a vessel's command. Yes, actually, that's very clever. Okay. Yes, I'm ready to start the briefing. You're damn straight. I don't want to be a rogue trader. Why would I not want to be a rogue trader? Dozens of air eyes bore into me. Expressions revealing restraint, joy, curiosity, and weariness. Personally conduct today's briefing. Most, our most gracious Lord Captain is ready to hear our reports. Well, I'm going to gobble this up. What are we going to do? Okay, uh, as you wish. Vigdis Suri Ota of the Toleman uh, line, our new Vox Master. Vox Master is a person who communicates. He's basically a um, person who communicates to and from like the surface level, right? If you need to try, like converse across like whole galaxies, you use a... Um, Oh, what are they called? They're the um, they're they're a form of psyker. They'll probably explain it in just a second. It's an honor to serve. Oh, I bet you this is our narrator, Vigdis. Supposed to communications between you and them. I'm your eyes and mouth captain. Reaver, the master helmsman. He steers the ship along with the course. So, um, I actually have a funny story. I um on my latest tabletop role-playing game um, I was Rex Thrace and I was the master helmsman and he was amazing absolutely amazing he was he was legendary mostly in how much cat food and alcohol he could consume don't ask too many questions you don't want to hear the answer it's stupid uh, so he's um, he's gonna pilot us I'll die before I let her get him to any grief High Factorum Generous Dan Rock. He oversees supplies, procurement, and general material well being of the ship. Ah, I like the cut of this guy's jib. Trust me with all manners concerning my comfort. God damn, you are going to be my best friend. Look at that. Look at this face. Timotheus Dextrous? Hells yes. Uh, second row, we have three officers overseeing the ship's vital functions. Master Ordnance, uh, the Infernus Master, and the Drive Master. Servant of the Omnisaya. Omnisaya is basically like the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus' version of their god. Three officers. Is that everyone? Unfortunately, our choir master, yes, Astropaths, okay, the esteemed Zachary Weiss uh, is unable to join us. He is in charge of communications with distant star systems. So the thing is with Astropaths, so a void master is just like communicating between like ships and stuff that's relatively short range. We're talking like, like planet to ship or ship to ship communication. Astropaths are like massive far distance right and it's uh they require an entire choir of uh astropaths to sing across so master weiss has been in a trance for some time now attempting to contact other planets in the von valencius protectorate and inform them of lady theodora's passing and conrad voidiger's treachery i will deliver a report to your lordship on the astropath's progress as soon as it is possible to do so all others present uh all others present are uh adjutants secretaries and deputies they are here to make record of the proceedings okay let's hear all of the different reports first with the infernus masters report uh 
I can report that all fires on, across the decks have now been extinguished. That's good. Fire is bad. Uh, in terms of material losses and crew casualties uh, have been completed. The reports have been uh, the results have been submitted to the Seneschal and the High Factorium. The post uh, passed to him after the previous Infernus Master and his next three deputies expired in the line of duty. Jeez, Slad is managing so far. He could take the heat, so to speak. Good, excellent. Hot factorum. I want to have all of the alcohol, all of the food. See this skinny boy here? He gets a bad on him. He needs to get a bad on him. The toiling day and night to compile a full account of the losses. The task will require uh, next to no involvement from your lordship. You're damn straight. I don't know how I work for my crap. I will personally ensure that all damaged components are given to the tech priest's hands for attention. That all lost supplies are replaced. There is one, only one resource that cannot replenish single-handedly, and that is people. That's right. People. We lost more than 2,000 crew members, and unfortunately, this number is not confined to the scum on the lower decks, which are easily replaced, but also includes trained professionals. Scum are useful. Um, we'll be able to make up our losses in the nearest, uh, on the nearest planet, uh, Rykad Minoris. However, the planet, the whole system, in fact, belongs to uh, the Winterscale Rogue Trader Dynasty. Winterscale, again, big deal, basically owns... A huge amount of uh, of the uh, of this uh, system that we're playing in we cannot simply begin recruiting on the planet without first coming to an understanding with the governor. In that respect, I am powerless. Negotiations at this level are a matter of the rogue trader. I will discuss and insult him uh, willingly, uh, especially given true, especially true given. Uh, the winter scales penchant for attacking first and asking questions later. Neat. Drives master. I hear from you now. Beep boop. Foes that set upon this noble void ship destroyed the repositories of hundreds of machine spirits. The great warp engine entrusted to my charge is unharmed. Thank the Messiah. But its spirit mourns its dead brethren. We have not yet identified the prayer protocol capable of assuaging its sorrow and anger. Great sorrow. I also must report that the engine seer, prime overseer, and spiritual authority of all tech priests aboard fell in battle. The Magos was betrayed by the little flesh that still remained part of him. Yeah, uh, tech priests don't really care for their fleshy parts. Like, beyond this robe, I'm guessing this lady probably doesn't have much more flesh left. It's the most terrible loss. Uh, there's no one uh, among my comrades aboard whose experience and comprehension of the sacred protocols equals that of our fallen Magos. We acquire a replacement as soon as possible. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that um, we'll probably pick up a new companion who is a new Magos. Would someone care to translate and translate the esteemed Drive Master's words? Oh, I already knew. Okay, yeah. Master Helmsman, right you are, Lord Captain. Oh, I like him. Cut the story short. The outlook is bleak. Ship sound, more or less, without our engines near Prime and Navigator who fell in the battle. There's no way out of the system. Yeah, that that is true. We can't go into the warp without a navigator. Your lordship allow me to inject. When we arrived in the system, my crew followed standard protocols and conducted a count of all viable all available communication channels of the region. One of them is a Navis Nobilite station. Um, Nevis Noblite is an ancient organization of noble mutant families. Good. Excellent. The station maintains complete Vox silence, but even its presence here inspires hope. So basically, we can acquire a new uh, navigator family. Or a navigator. Ideally, a family, so that 
they don't have to have one person running the entire navigation spectrum. If I were you, I would grab this chance with both hands, or else you'll be eyeing up asteroids and use this uh, and asteroids to use as your new residence. Slightly in light, slightly less shitty news. You can go around and around in the system till the heads are spinning, as long as the Promethean supplies last. And if any thick, thickest gross shit uh, low lives come sniffing around, we'll be able to take them out, so you don't need to worry about that score. Cool. Master Ordnance, anything to report? No, my job's simple. Maintain the crew's arsenal and fire where I'm told. But just ask anyone, we've uh, got no able crew. So, uh, no, Lord Captain. Uh, yeah. I'll just Lord Captain. Pardon the fool. Um, ship is in ruins. Every officer, every other officer is dead, and the Lord Captain is no longer with us. Fear has taken a hold of me. Your fame has reached e uh, even as far as the expanse. Uh, I can't be showing myself. Uh, up in front of an illustrious person such as myself. You and your damn straight I'm illustrious. Uh, Master of Ordnance can report that the rest of the uh, arsenal has been saved. The battery is in good order. We're ready to fight if it's the Lord Captain's will. I don't know. You can't make money from the dead. Except in dealing with corpses. To summarize, we've sustained serious losses in crew members and require a new engine seer prime and navigators. This is all preventing us from continuing the voyage? Precisely. But bear in mind that this will not be the end of our trials. The ship's systems must uh, be properly inspected for what for major damage, which can only be carried out at Football Station. Football is a uh, massive void port. It's basically like a really good uh, place in the Coronis Expanse to like start your um, start any Rogue Trader campaign. We'll never reach footfall uh, without first solving these three immediate problems. What can you tell me about the system in which we currently find ourselves? See to the uh, Vox Master at this point. We're in the Rykod star system. Our voyage here has undertaken your orders of your lordship's predecessor. The three inhabited bodies in the system. Our attempts to send Vox messages have produced confounding results. The navigators have been silent. Receive a distress signal from the prison planetoid. Rykod Minoris itself has not been respond also has not been responding to our hails, but that's uh, what is most alarming is that our augers have intercepted signals from the uh, surface that seem to be indicate ongoing hostilities on the planet. Great! Awesome source! We're not going to be able to travel anywhere. So, we're going to have to go to one of those places. All right, Lordship, there's one other thing, confidential matter, most importance, uh, your esteemed pro uh, predecessor brought the ship here to the system for a reason. She was given a secret commission. You perhaps are wondering who has the authority to do the commission? A rogue trader can do anything. Well, the Lord Inquisitor handed the Emperor Chief Architecture, Architect of his will in the Coronis Expanse. Okay, so... XC, yeah, the letter. Javier Calcazar. Theodora was to seek out the Lord Inquisitor's right hand man, Heinrichs von Kalix, interrogator, uh, you understand. All I know is that he is somewhere in the system that we must 
find him and offer him whatever assistance he requires, then deliver him to Footfall in the uh, Furibundus system. Finding him without any more information to go on will be difficult indeed, but an Inquisitor is an important individual. The authorities in the system, either the Navis Nobilite or the Governor of Rykod, may know something. Yeah. That is all of it, your lordship. You have a great deal of work ahead of you, but it is a mere taste. The daily burden of being a rogue trader. Well, that's lame. I want to get cash. Oh, more money, ladies. The psyker is suffering some uh, ailment. I also hoping to approach you with a personal request, but it can wait. Speak to me if you have time. Dura, come to your senses. Here's the thing. I was trying to see the immediate future, and it hit me so hard my head is still spinning. Something very strange is headed our way. I can't make it uh, make out what it is. No matter how hard I try, for a single word, uh, a single word is all I can uh, make out. Daybreak, or maybe it's dawn. It's and it's ringing and ringing like an echo, like a bell. If it's daybreak, then why is it so dark? Can you tell us anything else? Not yet. Voices are going berserk, all shouting at once. I can't make any sense of it. As soon as I know anything, I'll report it. Good. If you want uh, me to take a uh, close look in your future, find me on the bridge. We can talk. Lady Theodora was well served by my whispers on many occasions. Uh, and I'm sure you could benefit from them as well. There's nothing else of value to report. I declare this briefing concluded. It's time to get to work. Time to get some cash! Time to get some money! Time to get some cash! Money, money, money! How much money do I have? Do I have any money? I might not have money. Where would I find that? No idea. No idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm sure I'll figure out where the money is. Or it's like totally like render my nose or something like that. So, okay. Well, with that, I think we're going to call it for the day. Uh, we managed to kind of survive. We managed, well, we managed very much to survive against the um, Chaos Spawn. And we managed to um, pull the ship out of warp and to have our first mission briefing. Uh, it looks like there's going to be two places where we can end up going. We can either go to um, try to figure out what's up with the navigators or chat with the governor of the planet. Um, I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, please feel free to give the video a like comment subscribe uh do all that i put up also videos for baldur's gate um and for crusader kings 3 uh occasionally for baldur's gate 3 but you know here and there there's there's a lot of videos out there for it so um with that i hope you all take care good luck we're all counting on you